Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing great. Welcome to the show, I'm Andrew Cartwright. And will $1,250 checks be distributed? We're gonna talk about that. Is it happening? Is it gonna happen? Well, stay tuned, find out. Also, we've been waiting two years for stimulus payments and the IRS paid us just twice. Well, we're gonna dig into what's happening there as well. And residents can expect $300 by May 31st. We're gonna talk about this. Has the Fed decided to crack open the great bull rally? The, did they kill the bull? And now we've got a bunch of bears that are rallying saying, yes, the stock market's crashing. Finally, we're gonna be able to get stocks on sale, real estate on sale. And stick around to this channel because I wanna make sure that you guys survive and thrive at the highest levels. I also have a second channel to teach you how to open your own business, to sit down with entrepreneurs, to talk about it, chop it up. Uh, real talk with real entrepreneurs. That's in the link below. My name is Andrew Cartwright. Welcome to the show where we talk about stimulus check, what's happening in the news, the Federal Reserve, the economy, money, what's coming your way. And yes, it's going to get more painful, folks. It's going to get more painful. I'm, it's just reality. And for some that can withstand it, you guys are going to come out on the other side, especially if you take, stay tuned to my channel. I will take you through this. I've been through these cycles about four times now. And uh, in some ways, I'm excited because I know how to navigate it. I'm Andrew Cartwright, and I'm also giving away $2,000. Let's dive into what we got in the news. Yes, the Fed raised interest rates um, point, uh, half a percent, or what we call in the industry, 50 basis points. And they haven't done this in over a decade. Yes, over a decade, they haven't done this large of a move. And it's expected to continue to curb inflation, which means money, people who save money, this is great for you because eventually you actually get paid on your savings, which you probably haven't been paid in the last couple of years. But these rate hikes are definitely going to affect it. Some of the combat, you can see what they're going to do down here. The Biden administration is thinking about floating new lending rules for low income areas. So if you are low income and you've not been able to buy a home, there is a good chance that they'll say, you know what, we're not going to give money to the super rich as much as we're going to give it to people who need a place and give them a new opportunity to actually get a loan. So we've got some good stuff there. Um, also, the stock market, what's happening? As much as a 5% decline, right? And uh, well, now it's, now it's down to 4.76. This is active right now going on. Yes, the, the, all the markets are down as much as 4%, which is huge, huge. So, but expected. We've got those $1,250. Will they be distributed? We're going to cover that. What the IRS is uh, up to in regards to paying you. And also, we've got the $300 to cover. So, um, lots of great stuff in this video. So, stick around to the end. All the best stuff. I always save it to the end because I want you to stick around. So, please, if you don't mind, stick around to the end. Hopefully, I've got you hooked now with some great stuff for, um, for Thursday. Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. 2022. Hope you guys are doing well. My goal is to give you the information from the government and private money sectors to help yourself, loved ones, and your business. I'm giving away $2,000 when we hit 200,000 subscribers. All you got to do is join join us as we path, go down this path, right? Join the channel, like the video, and throw a comment. When you throw a comment in the comment section, you're entered to win $2,000 when we hit 200,000 subscribers. But please, if you enjoy the content, subscribe, like, and comment. If not, it's okay. You don't have to do it. But if you want to help out the channel, the best thing you can do is like the video, which you appreciate that. Also, if you need money for your business, uh, down below is a link called Loans. Up to $5 million, 12 different programs, uh, 75 lenders. Rates, yes, have gone up, but they're still attractive enough. So if you need money now, working capital, you should always go get your money before you need it. That's, that's just the golden rule. Don't apply for money when you need it. Apply when you don't to make sure it's there. Because cash is the number one reason people go out of business is they run out of cash. So down below is that. Also check out my real estate program for only $99. You get $40,000 worth of information. Uh, normally the course is $1,000. It's on sale for 10% of the price. It's $99. You get a resource list, 36 videos, all kinds of stuff to help you with real estate should you buy when to buy, market cycles, and also negative, neutral, positive leverage, and how to not even use your own credit. 
And also how to do loans that don't have any recourse to you. Like there's no consequence if you hand the real estate back, which right now defaults are I, foreclosure rates are up 132% folks. So there's going to be a lot of deals on the market. There is a proposal for $1,250 that would benefit parents in the U U.S. Uh, Utah Senate Senator Mitt Romney proposed the Family Security Act. Yes, we're going to talk about it here. The act aims, and this is all over the United States, to diminish child poverty. Most parents would be provided with $350 monthly payments for each child under the age of six and $250 for each over uh, up to 17 years old. The maximum benefit for a family is 1250 bucks. That's how we get that number. All families that are single filers and they're under $200,000 and joint filers that are $400,000 and below are eligible for the benefit. So as you can see, it casts a pretty wide net. How many people do you know make over $200,000? If you earn more than the limit, you will get $50 less for every $1,000 above the threshold. Um, there is a catch to it though. You must work, volunteer, or train for at least 80 hours a month in order to receive the benefit. It's interesting. A way to go. You could just volunteer, right? There have been studies that show that the proposal could make substantial differences in poverty. This is um, obviously great news for those of you who are getting this check, who would be getting this check, but don't worry. We have some checks on the way, so stay tuned. There is money. Meanwhile, after waiting two years for stimulus checks, the IRS has paid a bunch of people twice. If this happened to you, you might want to think about returning the heirs funds if there is one. The thing is, the IRS is super backed up and some folks are still waiting for the tax refunds for last year. Regardless, if you received any money you were anticipating, please report it to the IRS. Let them know that this double payment was made. Even though it's not your fault, they've overpaid you, you still might have held uh, accountable for these funds. And I hope, it, you know, it's just great not to just to get it back to them and that way you don't have to deal with them later. Finally, let's get into this. Yep, like I said, I got more stimulus money for you. Several states and counties are sending out stimulus checks and residents to help them offset the rising cost of living, inflation, and prices of goods. Yes, the Fed thinks they've solved it all by raising interest rates, your mortgage rates, and the cost of money so that they can pay savers as well. Delaware is the latest state to do so, and the Delaware stimulus check could provide eligible residents with a one-time payment of $300. The first round of checks will go out at the end of the month. Governor John Kearney approved the 2020 Delaware Relief Rebate Program. Under the program, residents who filed the 2020 Delaware State Income Tax Return will get a one-time $300 stimulus check. Married couples who filed their returns jointly will get a stimulus check for $600. Deceased family members, however, will not get a stimulus money. Those who died since filing the 2020 tax year will not qualify for a 2022 Delaware relief rebate, according to the program's website. Those who filed the 2020 income tax return will be first to get the Delaware stimulus check and they will get the payments automatically. The division of revenue will automatically identify the residents who filed their 2020 return as well as an issued check to them. Those who filed as 2020 residents but are no longer residents will not be eligible for the 2022 Delaware tax rebate. Non-filers will also get the money, but they may have to claim it. As per the program on the website, the authorities will come up with a plan for non-filers to file their stimulus check. The plan is expected to be developed by October. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts as we cover the stories in today's video. And also, see you in the next one. I'm Andrew Cartwright. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Join. Join, please. Happy Cinco de Mayo uh, this 2022. Thank you for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright.